Good day, Star Stable family. Welcome back to Star Stable with Stacy. Halloween is now officially over, so I'm here to check out the brand new clothing market. I'm very excited. I love all the fashion that Star Stable brings to Yorvik, especially with all the variety and the top quality designs coming out lately, so I'm very excited to check it out. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well, and then we'll continue on our adventures. I'm on Honey Clover today. It's been so long since I've ridden Honey Clover. I could probably say that about quite a few horses, but uh, Honey Clover needs some love. So I run right into a pole. It happens, Honey Clover. It happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's check in. We've got our little frog. Hopefully we will get a new... Uh... Oh, <laughs> just tried to grab a fly. We'll look at some uh, new gear for Honey Clover. Maybe a new bag as well. What do we have here? Some clothes. Oh, a really cool hat. Ooh, that one reminds me of the pumpkin hat from Halloween. Oh, I like that green. That looks awesome with the Nova. Some camo orange pants, green pants. Maybe it's just because it looks so fabulous with honey clover too. Ooh, red pants. Red corduroy jeans. The regular, the other ones were regular red. Drain pipe skinny jeans. And green. I love the green on Nova. Ooh, and purple as well. Fabulous. Thank you, madam. On to the next stall. Oh, we've got some food. So now the horse market and the clothing market are two separate things. This uh, makes it quite a bit easier to add more of each. <laughs> so before you would visit the horse market and there would also be clothing vendors, but now they've taken them out. So there's a little bit more room for horses there. And now we have room for specialty clothes and stuff here. Oh, I didn't turn quite enough for us to see these leg wraps. That's okay. We might be back. We might end up taking a trip to the mall. Who knows? I do kind of like the brown stuff that Nova's wearing today. What do we have here? Orange? Ooh. Oh, she looks lovely in that jacket. So excited. <laughs> Pink field riding jacket. Very nice, Nova. We have a red hoodie with print. Oh, cool. And purple. I know people have been asking for a lot of purple. We have some more. Red woolen knitted sweater. That looks comfy cozy. <laughs> I kind of want to have that for real. It's really cold where I am. I don't know about you guys. Let's check it out. The green hat. I liked a lot. This one. And the green pants. It kind of goes with brown. Maybe? I'm so bad with matching clothes. You guys probably already realized this. <laughs> Excellent. So we have our polka dot brown top. On with our new green corduroy pants and our green helmet. I love it. Oh, I wonder if there were any gloves. She's still wearing brown and gold gloves. I didn't see any here. We might have to check the mall for that. What's happening? I just came to Crescent Moon Village to hang out. The bees attack. What is happening? Hold on, we need to talk to Pamela. I came from the wrong direction, obviously, and something strange is going on with bees. Pamela, what can we do? Oh, get back here, you little nuisance. Hello, Nova. See the mess Professor Hayden's little darling has made? Just wait till I get a hold of her. I bet she's still around here somewhere. Alberta, come here. Could you ride over to Professor Hayden's house and tell him that he needs to come back and pick up his little cutie pie? He's my neighbor, so he lives in the house behind mine. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't have to do with bees, but okay. We'll just stay out of the garden. Something terrible is <laughs> happening. Mean, somebody knocked over the beehives or something. Where are we over here? Professor Hayden. Here we go. Oh, it's a no. Not at home, so you don't need to come back. If you must know, I'm camping. Seems like nobody's home. Best ride back to Pamela and let her know Hayden's gone camping. He's gone camping and left his kid behind? Oh, I wonder if she's the one that knocked over the beehives. That makes sense. Okay. He's out camping again? Oh, just look at what Hayden's Alberta has done here. She's flipped over all my beehives, so now the bees are going crazy. And to top it all off, Hayden's not even home. Who leaves their pets home alone? I thought we were talking about a child. Who leaves their pets home alone when they're out camping? If he can't keep Alberta under control, then he'll have to keep her on a leash or something. But I suppose we'll get to Hayden and Alberta later. Now we need to calm down these angry bees before they fly off and attack the whole village. They, like, they attacked me, Pamela. They already attacked me. 
Would you mind helping? I can always count on you. The best way to get them to calm down is by giving them some sugary water. They'll love it. Take these bowls and set them out next to the beehives. Be careful though, they're pretty angry and could attack you if you get too close. We experienced that already. Do we have our sugary water? Yeah? Ooh, stay over here. Stay to the side. Oh, oh, they're going in. That's a fast circle! That's a fast circle! How am I supposed to stay out of that? Oh, no. Do we have to do the quest again? Oh, no. Okay, good. We can pick up where we left off. Let's go this way instead. Ooh! Oh, at least once you put it down, they collect at the plate. That's good. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh, I thought we had that one. <laughs> oh, the bees chase you away. I know, I know. We only have one left. Let's stick it here. No bees. Excellent. They seem to be a bit calmer now, Pamela. Whew, lovely now they seem to be calming down. Now the bees have calmed down in any case. Why did she come and cause all this fuss? Alberta's nothing but trouble, if you ask me. Can you help me pick up the beehives again? The ones that Alberta flipped over anyway. The little terror. Thanks, how lovely of you to help me. Set the beehives straight. Oh, how appropriate. We're on honey clover and we're working with bees today. I didn't even plan that. Alright, all fixed up, Pamela. Thanks for all your help, Nova. You're welcome. I kind of want to do with a new race. I don't think I've told you about the race our village arranges, have I? Seems as though I forgot to tell you. Well, with all that's going on, I hope you can forgive me, Nova. You know what? Ride out and talk to Ilona. Ilana? Ilana. I'm going to go with Ilana. <laughs> Sky Wolf. She's the race organizer. You'll find her on the other side of the river on the way to Shipwreck Shores. Good luck in the race, Nova, and say hello to Ilana for me. Yes, I was just in the mood to do a race. Uh, Honey Clover is a bit low, level four, but we got this. You guys, I never even came over here to see the horses. Look, there's the flea bitten English thoroughbred and the dark Arabian and the gray. I never even came over here. I totally forgot. There were just so many new horses to see in the other areas. <gasps> That's awesome. I still haven't decided which horse we're gonna buy next. I was hoping to buy one in this episode. There's just so many choices now. <laughs> Have we even been over here yet? Look at this place. It's super cute. Hold on, the race will have to pause for a moment while we venture over here. Oh, this is awesome. Really cool. All right, let's find this race organizer and get started. Hello, Ms. Skywolf. Good day to you. What a handsome runner you have there. What could such a fine specimen be called? Honey Clover, a fine name if I may say so. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stand on top of you. <laughs> My noble friend, are you ready to test your limits in our village race? Terrific. If you stand over there by the starting line, I'll count you down. Best of luck. I'm ready. I think. Let's do this. We're on our way. This is our first opponent race? Oh, well, we did race with Herman. A few times. got this honey clover on the run do you guys ever get distracted when you're doing races looking at the scenery instead of at where you're going <laughs> oh what's that over there a bunker a bunker it said b7 does that mean there's six other bunkers oh that was close Oh no, I slowed down too much. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we just inched over that one. Oh, that's so tall. Great job, Honey Clover. Oh my gosh. Oh, we get to go through this little town. Well, it's not even a town. It's just like one house. <laughs> one house, one barn, one shed. 
I like this race. It's kind of relaxing. Some of them can be stressful. I guess I could run through that bush. Um, I thought we did pretty well. Pretty well. Thank you for the lovely wraiths. You did a marvelous job. Cool. Okay, Pamela, we took a break, did a race, we're back for some more work. Now Hayden needs to get himself back home and deal with his little pet before she causes much more trouble for us here in the village. If he's not home, he'll be out camping. He usually pitches his tent just outside of the village. I've got an awful lot to do here at home, so I haven't got time to go looking for Hayden. Could you ride out to him and tell him to come back and pick up Alberta? Thanks a lot! See you later! Yeah, we'll go looking. Where is he on our little map? All right, right over here, towards Eastern Epona. Oh, there he is! Oh, oh my gosh, we almost fell off the cliff. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry, Honey Clover. I just got real excited, I saw him. There he is! I think we passed by him before when we were over here. Adventuring. Oh, another note! Not at home, out on field work by the river, enter at your own risk. Professor Hayden doesn't seem to be here either, but he can't be too far away. On the ground, you see a trail of footprints. If you follow them, perhaps they'll lead you to Professor Hayden. Oh, I'm glad these footprints are sparkling. Was that it? Oh, over here. Two of five. Oh, okay. They're very spaced out. Blithering bugs. Grr. Oh, we're getting closer. We hear him. Aha. What is he doing in a hole? Humph. Who, who would I be if I'm not Hayden? Do I look like the Tooth Fairy or something? Oh, kids these days. Who, who are you then? Well, I can't blame him for being upset. He is kind of trapped in a hole. Nova. Mm -hmm. And what do you want then? Can't you see I'm quite busy being stuck in this hole? If I want help? What do you think? Kids these days. <laughs> Maybe he wants help? <laughs> Could be part of his experiments or research. I don't know. <laughs> mm, and what could you possibly want then, Nova? I shouldn't think you're just out for a walk. If that's the case, then you could just go for a walk somewhere. I'm not, okay? What am I doing here? I'm studying the habitat of the mirror marshes. What are the mirror marshes? <laughs> are you trying to make me laugh? I laughed once, and as I seem to remember, it almost killed me. You're standing in the mirror marshes. These are the mirror marshes. I should probably add that it's Professor Hayden, not just Hayden. I've been sent here to the mirror marshes by AAE to study the habitat. As I, you've probably already noticed, the area is completely unique. Thanks to the warm waters, the right conditions for quite unusual plant and animal life exist for them to live and thrive here. It's said the crested beetle was found here for the first time in 1748, almost like 1948, 1748. Oh, blithering bugs, where's my bag? Without my bag, I won't be able to get a moment's work done. <sighs> if you help Professor Hayden find his bag, perhaps it'll be easier to talk to him a little more afterwards. Yeah, it sounds like he's had a rough morning, <laughs> being stuck in a hole and everything. Oh, that was quick. Excellent. <laughs> Back to work. Well, what use was that? Now I have to look after the wretched bag. Everything was easier when I didn't have the bag. Ugh, kids these days. Since you've inconvenienced me enough to have found my bag, you could probably try doing something useful instead. What? Pamela? Bees? I haven't got time for some ludicrous bee frightener. Focus now instead, Nova. How about that? Focus! Focus! <laughs> Take these cookies! Yes, cookies! No, we're not going to eat them. Oh. Or at least I'm not. Sugar is the most disgusting thing in existence. Sweet and sickly. Ugh. Nope, down with sugar and sweeties. Thank you very much. Listen now instead. Insects like all the sweet rubbish. And I'm here to study them. This is why we need to attract them. And the best way of doing that is by using bait. Take these cookies and crumble them up over there. I'm sure it'll be quite enough to attract a few specimens. Chop, chop. Cookies. If we took one and ate one, do you think he would notice? You can eat whatever's left of the cookies if you like, but I shan't partake. Ugh, disgusting. He gave us cookies. So you like eating cookies, do you? What do you think of insects? 
not as cool as cookies. Not to eat, of course. You're not a frog, are you? No, but I have some now, yay! Anyway, take this blanket and throw it out onto the ground so that we've got something to sit on while we wait for the insects to arrive. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess we have to be dismounted for this. Hello, here you go. Oh, over here. Aww. Are we gonna have a nice little picnic, Professor? <clears throat> Are you just going to stand there like some kind of crane? Sit down before your legs fall asleep. This kind of thing isn't for the delicate. Once upon a time, I had to wait for three hours, and it was simply ghastly. Ten hours is what it should take, at least. Otherwise, it doesn't feel as though one has waited properly. Sit down, yourself, so we can wait for these little critters to appear. Dude, I don't want to be here for, uh, ten hours. I I'm happy to hang out for a little while. Waiting. Oh, lovely. It is a beautiful spot. Hours later. Ten hours to wait. You'll just have to say if you can't cope with the wait. It takes serious patience for this kind of research. Look, Nova, have you seen? Centipedes, beetles, ants, all of them have been lured in by the sweet smell of cookies. Here are three glass jars. Place one of each type of insect in a jar so I can get a better look at them. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. chop, chop. Ooh, use item glass jar. Okay. You picked up a centipede. A swamp ant. Not just any ant. Swamp ant. Here you are, Professor. Fascinating, beautiful little beings, don't you agree? I understand their importance to science, but y you can look at them. Oh, how I love ants. Wonderful animals, wouldn't you say? Did you know that certain types of ants can carry objects that weigh 50 times their own body weight? That's insane. That's like you being able to carry a car, or more accurately, an adult giraffe. Ooh. Ooh. Ants really are wonderful little animals. Sorry, you said something about Pamela and bees. Yes, let's talk about it later. We could have talked about it while we were sitting there for hours. We need to gather up a little bit of these insect surroundings and place it in the jars so that my little friends can feel at home while I study them. Okay. We picked up moss. We picked up twigs. Twigs, moss, dirt. Just look how delighted they are now that they've got twigs and moss. Delightful. Oh, we must be mounted. Okay. Right here. We have honey clover. Right here. Ready. Waiting to go. Right. What have you been trying to tell me about Pamela and the bees? What? Pamela chased Alberta away from her bees? Ugh. How dare she? Alberta is so kind and wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, she certainly won't have wanted to destroy any beehives. She probably just wanted to play. I need to find Alberta at once. If Pamela scared her off with a broom, then she must be terrified. Don't worry, Alberta. I'm coming. We'll need to take the insects to my tent. Would you help me carry them there? Gosh, how helpful you are. Be careful so that you don't drop my insects as you ride. See you over at the tent. Oh, okay. Oh, we have to go slowly. It's one of those. Where's this tent? Oh, the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. So we have to move carefully. The faster we go, the faster this bar fills up. Oh, there he is. All right, we can pick up speed now. We're about there. Nice. Here you go, sir. I need to hurry away and look for Alberta now. Not a good idea you come. Alberta is rather skittish around new people. All right, well, we'll check back with you later. I hope he finds Alberta. I hope she's okay. Thank you for joining me today, you guys. We're out of time, but... Next time, I think we're going to finally get a new horse. It's about that time. I'm ready. I'm ready for an Icelandic, I think. It's going to be so much fun. And look how close we are to level 17. I cannot believe it. I can't believe we've come this far. It totally amazes me. I'm so happy. I'm so excited to be doing these quests finally. And Nova's in her new gear looking fabulous. I hope you guys are having a blast. Let me know what you've been up to in Star Stable. I was sick for a little while, so I kind of missed out on what everyone was up to. So please tell me now about your horses and what you're doing and what you're looking forward to. And I will see you guys next time. Have fun and be kind to each other. Bye.